Hey everyone. So today I'm gonna to try something brand new, something I've never done before, and I'm gonna to try to put together a DIY build of a module. I love doing DIY things. I like woodworking and building things in general. Building modules was something I knew I was gonna get into at some point or at least just give a shot. And so I bought three different modules from AI Synthesis. I got a multiple, a mixer, and a VCO. So I'm gonna divide this out into three different videos, one for each of the modules. Just to preface this, my experience is zero. I've, in, in fact, soldering, I have almost no experience at all. The only thing I've ever soldered, I did some like guitar pedal kit probably 15 years ago. And I also changed out some pickups in a guitar, but that's, pretty much it. In fact, I didn't even have a soldering iron. I had to go out and buy all the different soldering stuff. So this is a great video if you're someone who's interested in building modules and for whatever reason hasn't jumped into it yet, you can watch me kind of bumble my way through it and see how hard it is. And if you're an experienced module builder, well, hopefully you don't get too many laughs at my expense, but any tips would be appreciated. Let me know in the comments section if I'm doing something wrong, but I've watched a ton of videos on this stuff, so I think I'm all set. We'll see how it goes. But I did wanna give a quick shout out to AI Synthesis. This video isn't sponsored by them or anything. I bought these with my own money, but Abe, the person in charge of this, has answered a ton of my questions on forums and he's got a great website and just seems like an overall good guy. I've never actually met him, but you know, and he's a good contributor to the community. So if you are interested in getting into this, you might wanna check out his website. I'll put a link in the description. He's also got a pretty thorough, um, list of, of tools and things like that that you can use to get started. And in fact, I bought all of my tools from his list. So it's a great resource for people who want to get started, but don't really know how to do it. All right, I'm going to get my desk set up and we'll start putting together the multiple. All right, so here is the multiple. But before I even start taking stuff out, let's go through all the stuff that I bought. I've got disposable gloves. I bought these because the solder that I'm gonna use is leaded. Um, I actually wanted to get biodegradable ones, but I messed up and bought the wrong thing. But either way, they do make biodegradable gloves and that would probably be, be a better purchase. I got a desoldering pump. I've got this Weller soldering iron, snips. I've got this, I don't know, thing to get solder off of your iron, I'm assuming. Wire strippers and solder. And like I said, I'm gonna put links to all this in the description. So let's get this opened up. Almost looks like a five pin MIDI cable. Did read that I'm supposed to wet this. I'm gonna go wet it. Got a little bit of water there. And this is on. And I think it's supposed to be set to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so I just looked it up and it says that 316 to 343 Celsius is a good place to start for lead-based solder. I thought I had read somewhere that it was 350, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna set it to 340. I don't know if it makes that much of a difference, but whatever, that's what I'm gonna do. So that actually is set to 340 right now. I'm not sure if this is actually hot. Let's see. I think it actually just got that hot. Looks pretty hot. Let's open up our bag. Got a card. There's the faceplate. Stickers, need stickers. PCB. And this supposedly is the easiest 
thing you can build. It's great for beginners. So hopefully this will all work out. All right. So basically all this really is, is a bunch of jacks put into this PCB. And I guess the first question that's popping up for me is which side do I put them on? Like, do I put them on this side or that side? I'm guessing it's this side. I should probably check though before I go on. So I'm going to, I'm just going to check. Okay. So I did confirm that you want to have that. This is the way the jacks go where the circles are. It goes right on top of that. That's what I kind of thought anyway. That's really funny. It says on the back of this, this machine kills fascists. Awesome. So let's get to it. Looks like there's only really one way that these can go in. And so I'm just going to go ahead and put them in that way. And they've got these little pins that stick out to kind of hold it in place. There we go. So I've got all eight of the jacks put in place. Now I just have to solder them together. I'm going to put this on just so I feel like as I'm putting them together, they might move around a little bit. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I got to admit, I'm a little bit nervous. Of course, if you're watching this right now, you know that it's going to turn out okay. All right, let's see how this goes. Wow, that melts pretty quick. All right, let's try this. I think that went on. <laughs> let's try this next one. Hard to tell if it's working or not. It's so small. So I'm gonna pause there for a minute and just check this. See if it's even Wow. All right. Well, that is definitely on there. Those solder points actually look pretty good. I'm uh, really impressed with myself at this point. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully it's just going to work. But let's see if I can do the rest of the module. And then we'll give it a go. did buy a little fan for the uh, fumes. I'll turn that on. Hopefully it doesn't come out in the video too much. All right, so they're all soldered together. They look pretty good. It's so hard to tell if I'm putting enough on, but I can't see that getting much better. The only one that kind of sticks out is 
is this one here, which I don't know if you can see in the video, but I looked at some images of like cold solder joints and that could potentially be a cold solder joint, but I'm not going to stress it. It feels solid. They feel like they're on there really well. So I'm going to go ahead and power down the soldering iron. So now at this point, we just have to put the face blade on. I guess it doesn't really matter which way you go. I bought the black finish on these. They have silver and black. I chose black and I think I probably, if all this goes really well, if I can do the other ones, I'd like to just get all of them, the whole collection, the whole AI synthesis collection and build kind of like a um, standalone AI synthesis kit. This summer I'm going to, I'm working on a wood shop and I'm going to actually start building cases as well. So I think it would be pretty, pretty cool to design a case that fits all of these modules and to just have kind of my own little AI synthesis um, mini modular setup. ST modular is another one that seemed really interesting. They, I couldn't, the only place I could find full kits for those were um, shipping from Europe and just with the shipping costs and everything, it didn't seem to make much sense. But I did order a couple from calsynth.com. And those are not full kits. So, um, but they do, they do come with most of the, like, the surface mount stuff already pre-soldered. So just have to buy some pots and jacks and knobs and things like that but I figured once I get the kit and once I do these I could probably figure it out so I got a couple of those on order as well there we go really hope this thing works but if it doesn't that's okay because then that just gives me an opportunity to problem solve it so I might tighten these later with some type of tool or something, but for right now, I think this is good to throw into a little rack with the Mordax data and see if we can get it to give, to see if it works. Here's how I'm going to test things. Basically, I'm going to turn this to voltage monitor and we'll take an LFO coming out of this Dofer LFO and we'll plug it in. We'll see if we can multiply it on three different waves. So the first one works. Second one looking good. Third one's a charm. Let's see if the top section works. Awesome. Well, that is really gratifying that I was able to do that on the first time. So now let's hope that the bottom section works just as well. And take these three out. Should we do them one at a time? Yeah, let's do it one at a time. All right. First one. Yes. Second one. Yes. Awesome. So it's confirmed. I have a working multiple that I put together in a few minutes from AI Synthesis. If you want to see me put together more of these, make sure to like and subscribe. The next one I'm going to do is the mixer, which is a slightly more complicated. And then I'm going to get onto a VCO. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.